Well, hey y'all, welcome to Throttle Power. In this video, we build the Mobius 65 Chevy 2 Nova Gasser. It's a great kit. I highly recommend it if you haven't gotten it. The stock version is very nice too. It's got yellow box art. I recommend that kit also. It's also a very nice kit. I did a complete unboxing of this kit. I'll link that video at the end of this video. And also in that video, I let you know what I didn't like about this kit. Other than that, it's a nice kit. Let's get the camera turned around and I'll show you what all I did and how I built this thing. As any build, I start off with the halves. Get those all put together and glued up. And while they're drying, I start clipping off other parts and getting them sanded. There's an overall view on some work there at the work bench. The steering wheel, um, you can drill out these holes, make it look more realistic. I'm pointing there at the holes I'm drilling out. There's what it looks like with all the holes drilled out. Nine of them. I think that looks pretty cool. On in the front axle, you got to be careful. A little heads up. Be careful where you clip that thing off. I almost clipped off that whole section there that I'm pointing at. That whole section actually holds on the wheels, the tires and wheels. So you got to be very careful when you clip that front axle. Just a heads up. There's what it looks like clipped off. So you want to keep those two ends there where the tires and wheels mount. Here I'm mocking up the interior. Getting the seats in, seeing what it's going to look like. There's the seats. And I'm thinking about going with just one seat. Since this is going to be a gasser, yeah, you want to eliminate as much weight as possible. And taking out a seat saves a few pounds. But if we take the seat out, we've got to take those ribs out. It's a molded in carpet, so this is going to be a little bit tricky. So I start clipping those off just with some snips, get them clipped down as short as close as I can to the carpet. There's the two pieces and I can rough sand it since it's carpet. By rough sanding it, I'm trying to keep some of that uh, carpet texture. You can take Tamiya extra thin with a brush, dabble it on there, get the plastic a little soft and keep stippling it and, and, and you can grab that to carpet texture and get it back. And since it was a nice day, I decided to take it outside and lay down a coat of the Tamiya primer. Went with that primer color. There's some more parts in progress. Just, just sanded mold lines. Since it's box stock, you got to get them mold lines sanded off. And I decided to try something on the door panels. It has the built-in window cranks. There they are. I think they look a little unrealistic when you look at them real close like that. Although once the models are together, you can't really see them. I decided to try to cut those off. I grabbed a brand new knife, brand new blade, and just slowly started trimming those off. And then once they get trimmed off, then I could sand them and then remount them. There, there's the four pieces up on that silver plate. They're tiny. They were a trick to sand once they were off. If I had to do it again, I probably wouldn't do it. And I remarked by drilling little holes where they would go because I'm going to sand those panels, get them roughed up because they're going to get painted an aluminum color. So an aluminum piece, just like that silver piece up there, is kind of scratched up looking, set up perfectly smooth. And there it is sanded up. And I've got the whole interior now shot with an aluminum color paint. And another heads up are these wheels. See those little tabs sticking out on the wheel? Little tabs I'm pointing at right there with that brush. Got to be real careful when you put your wheels into the tires. You want to make sure you put the back end facing up like that going down in. The back of the tire, mount it like that. Because see those lines right there? That's what you're going to get. You cannot avoid getting those lines on your tires. And you definitely don't want that on the front. So mount them off from the back, and they will look nice. You won't get those lines in the front. You'll just have them in the back. Those lines are unavoidable. There's another close-up of those lines. You don't want those lines. If you take anything away from this video, mount those tires and wheels like that. There it is. It's flipped over. No lines because it went in from the back. There's the whole set. Sanded a tread on the tires. Give it a little bit more realistic appearance. And working on the engine and transmission. The detail on this engine is very nice. It's a small block Chevy. The transmission has great detail. Really like this engine. 
I dechromed everything. Headers went together very nice. They're actually three piece headers. Your two pieces go together, then your flange at the end, and the flange is open, which is really nice. So you don't have to drill anything out. Love that flange that, that, that goes on the end of the headers. There's a little bit more work going on. There's the engine with an up-close look. Again, I, I think the engine looked really nice when it's together. Very convincing. Now, have you heard of moon steering wheels? Those are my favorite steering wheels. I actually used to have all six of those at one time. They come in the six colors. Your silver, the purple, the green, the gold, red, and blue. I decided to try to replicate that blue moon steering wheel. And again, cut out those holes, drill them out. Got my steering wheel mounted. And you can paint it with any high, high flake silver you want. I use that silver there. It's got a high flake in it. Your Tamiya paint, I use that just straight blue, TS-15. It's very transparent. It picks up that silver underneath to give it a nice speckle sparkle look. There's a close-up of it. This is going to be very convincing when it's done. And then I painted the inside of it silver. This was silver paint. Working on the firewall. Love the master cylinder on this thing. Those silver pieces on the left and right there on the firewall, that's where the roll cage is going to mount in. Started working on the traction bars. Decided to paint those orange. I was going to paint them yellow. Didn't have yellow, so I went with orange. Now I'm painting the body. It's just straight blue. Decided to use a little bit of the, rust te the salt technique for the rust. That's another reason I chose that Tamiya Primer Red that I used. It's kind of a represents a rust color. There's the colors I've used so far. Use the uh, airbrush thinner to thin the orange and the white and the blue. Those are Vallejo colors. And I love colored glass on a gasser. So I decided to color the glass. There's the paint I used, the clear blue X23 of Tamiya. And love the colored headlights on a gasser. Love that. That to me is just, mmm, looks great. There's the front grill getting all put together. There's the glue I like to use from a glass. You can use any white glue, actually. There's my sub-assemblies coming together. Getting ready to put all those on. It's really coming along very nice. The build's going along very well. Really like this kit. It's a great build. Highly recommended. There's a close-up on the traction bars. I thought the traction bars looked really convincing. There's a steering link. And we've got decals put on. Decided to go with those. Distressing the body a little bit. Showing up some of that red underneath. There's the front end. And... I'm getting ready to put that on, but I've decided to go without a front bumper. So in order to do that, I've got to take that bottom black piece off. I've got to cut it. That's all one piece there that you see that's black. There I've cut it off. So that's what holds the front bumper. And now I black washed the back of the grill since that piece is gone. And we've got it mounted onto the body. Love those colored headlights. Another close-up of the colored headlights. You know the build's coming to an end. You can almost see the finish line when uh, you've got all those empty parts trees. Let me know in the comments below if you save your trees or not. I throw all those away. I just throw them into the box, and when the build's done, I get rid of all that. There's the finished build. I thought it turned out pretty cool. Use different decals. But other than that, this thing's box stock. I didn't use anything else.
what'd you think about that build of this Mobius gasser? Again, I just used paint of what I already had. I wanted to build something box stock. Haven't built box stock in years. Wanted to try it. It's a challenge building box stock. You gotta, gotta really watch what you do and, and take care of all the basics to make the model really stand out. Let me know in the comments below what you think about it. Let me know in the comments below if you've got this kit. And something else cool about this Nova kit, this gasser kit at least, you can use this chassis, engine, drivetrain, tires, and wheels for other kits, even if you don't like that body style, which is really cool about this kit. I'm going to pick up a few more and build some more uh, Chevrolet or GM gassers. Maybe put a Oldsmobile body or something on this. That'll be cool. Hey, we'll see you on the next video on Throttle Power.